Hi there guys, Sean here from Five Star Marine with Jay! Hello, I'm Jay! And you didn't bring me red frogs. Oh, I forgot the red frogs! Cut! Two thousand years later. And we're back! We have red frogs! And we're at the map! It's a good day! <laughs> Hold, on. Hold on. I shouldn't do little sprints, it's not good. Uh, anyway, these are, uh, these are your red frogs, Sean, yes. that I found in the back of the office. Are they all for you, or can we share them? No, you can't have any of them. You're welcome to have one while we talk about what we're going to talk about. Uh, Jay's gone, but why he's gone... No, no, I'm back. Today we will be talking about what islands are open during the high season in 2023-2024. Now, what is high season, Jay? Um, it's a season. Wet season, high season, oh. peak season. No, no, I was just trying to explain. High season is above low season, so it's slightly up. Oh, gosh, he so doesn't know. The top of this. No, I do know. I do know. I'm being silly. So basically, here in Phuket, we have two seasons. Well, there's lots, but there we have two seasons. High season and low season. High season is between... Good work, Jay. Thank you very much. <laughs> high season is November the 1st through to around about April 30th. I think it's June. even extended a little bit. So a lot of the seasons are based on the weather. Weather. And anyone who asks me, I would say to you, I think that we've moved wet season a little bit further out. It's more kind of May, June now. Oh, we're gonna get into climate yes. change. So anyway, what we're gonna oh. say is, what is open during that period of time, November through to the, let's say, end of April. We've okay? really, we, we just say, ladies and gentlemen, what's open during November? And that would be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, so we look at the map. The map. And what we're going to tell you is what is open. So uh, everything. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> the whole thing, red frogs and the whole trying to explain high and low season, that everything's open. Yeah, that everything's open. So uh, what is everything? Oh. So let's let's get specific. Um, Similan Islands open. is open. And Similan is a beautiful spot during this period to go see, everyone asks me, where do we see turtles? And Jay will know because he's in our staff group chat and Guide Nook and Guide Charlie, who always go out to Similan for us, keep sending videos during this season of them swimming with turtles. If you want to see turtles, go with Kun Nook, because she, yeah. she sees them everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. I reckon she's got some turtles in her bag and all she's done is like throwing them out. There so you what go, we're turtle. gonna do is just show you on the map where Similan is. Okay, I think it's around here. Imagine that the map is bigger. Similan is there. That is right. It is about two hours from Phuket. Now, if you want something that is beautiful water cl clarity like Similan, but not so busy, because Similan does get a little bit busy. It can do. Next spot on the map Jay's going to show is Koha and Koh Rock, because that's open as well. I'm not even sure that's in shot, Sean, because that's down here. <laughs> down here. Yes. Uh, Koha and Koh Rock, uh, if you're looking for the Hands down, best coral that you've ever seen in the entire Thailand area. Kohar Koh Rock's a place to go. Um, Kohar is very popular with free divers because they've got some awesome underwater caves. Um, also, the marine life there is very unique. Uh, you're going to see huge fish there and they swim in big schools. Uh, why? Because not many boats go there. When you don't have a lot of... Uh, uh, propellers. propellers churning up the water. Uh, that's where the fish like to go to play. And that is also where we see whale sharks. Koha Koh Rock is open. So on top of that, Thailand's number one beach is open during that season. What is Thailand's number one beach? Maya Bay, Sean. Oh no, not that one. <laughs> I'm like, don't read your own news. No, that was ages ago. That yes. one. Oh, that is um, over oh, this way. The co crocodile. Co Crocodan. So ah. Uh, uh, crocodile. We're gonna go keep going fast. So first, Simlan's open. Second, Ko Rock Koha. Third, Ko Crocodan, which is also uh, Ko Muk and Ko Nai. Can I say Maya Bay is open as well? Yes. Uh, these places are a little bit further, so we're starting as far out. So. Those three places are about two hours from Phuket by boat. Can I say, uh, Kok Kredan or Kok Crocodile is some of the most amazing snorkeling that me and the kids have ever done. It's stunning there. I, I, Unbelievable. Hands Unbelievable. down, those three places we gave Beautiful you beach. are just stunning, but they are far. So if you do have young kids on board, maybe you don't want to go so far. People like Jay and I, our kids are used to being on boats so they can take the longer ride. Yep. But this is your, if this is your first time visit to Phuket, what's open within one hour of Phuket? <gasps> so we're going to say... Uh, sorry, PP. And by now, uh, we know it's definitely open because Jay went there to open it. I did. I went down there on the day it closed. Or they said, I say, hold on, we should explain this. Peepee's not closed. I went down to see Maya Bay, which is in Peepee. That closed on the 1st of... Oh, why? Yes. They close it so that they can let the ecosystem have some time to breathe and they can then go and check out 
all the tourists that have been there for the last six months and then go and reassess everything. Oh, is that not good here? Maybe we should build this path here. Do we need more toilets? Mm, that tree needs to be moved, more shade. That's the kind of stuff they do. And by closing that, it also allows the marine environment, which very specifically at Maybe Bay, we're talking about the black tip reef sharks, Ooh. allows them a little break from people going in and out of the water, yep. gives them some more space. And then this is the time when we see the sharks come back even more. Unbelievable. And yes, and it reopened on the 1st of October, which you can go see that video because I opened it. Well, so, I didn't open it. I'm not like the president. I didn't open I the whole say, beach. Well, you're there, like, I took some champagne and smashed <laughs> it against a rock. Left the glass on the floor so people cut their feet. I didn't. I didn't do any of that. It's a joke. So, Maya Bay, open. Yes. James Bond Island. Open. Hong Karabi. Really nice. And go to the viewpoint. Open. Russia Ye and Russia Noi. Uh, open. Okay, now we're going to go even closer to Phuket. <gasps> Within 30 minutes of Phuket. It's too close. Step back. Within 30 minutes of Phuket, uh, Coral Island. Uh, open, and it's a really cool place for families. Maiton Island. Open, and you can see some dolphins there. I was about to say the dolphins play there. Sometimes. Uh, Kai Island. Kai, open. There's three Kai Islands. Kai means egg. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Anyway, they're all open. Okay, so uh, nothing's closed. No, not from November, no. So from November forward, you have free reign. It's all open. It gives you a lot more tour options. Uh, you've got a calmer sea, so you're not worried about bumps on the way to and from the island. We have better weather conditions. So that's it. It's like time to get out and explore. Uh, and if you have red frogs, uh, 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 we, we take bribes in the, uh, in the efforts of red frogs. You drop some on the floor. Some did fall on the floor. You didn't notice that. Don't worry. Five second rule. Go get it. Okay. They're in a pack. Can I ask a question about red frogs? Anyway, yes. that was a great video. Um, what's the difference between big red frogs and frogs alive? These ones are bigger, those ones are smaller. So what's the alive bit? I don't know, actually. Oh. Anyway, there you go, red frogs. People always ask me what I miss about Australia and the number one thing, you red don't, frogs. You don't miss shrimps on the barbie? No. You don't miss- I do miss- Marmite? Uh, you you, won't, or get, Vegemite, you won't get this, but Australians okay. will. In Australia, there's a uh, hardware store called Bunnings. Do you have that in the UK? Called what? Butlins? Bunnings. Bunnings, no. No, on every Sunday, they do a sausage sizzle out the front as a fundraiser. Excuse me? <laughs> yes. You Australians <laughs> go and get See, your sausage again. sizzle. What? Only Aussies get this. I miss red frogs and the Bunnings sausage sizzle. Uh, funny story, I can tell you this. Uh, sorry about the very long video. Um, Everything's but, open, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> everything is open. I took my wife, Lisa, to Australia and I took her to a bunny and sausage sizzle. <laughs> and I'm sorry, you got to be very careful she now, didn't, Sean. She didn't know that it happens only on a Sunday once a week. So the next day, she's she only like, gets a sausage once a week. She's like, can we, can we go back to Bunnings and get some sausages? She likes a sausage from Bunnings. <laughs> You better go now. I'm going. See you, Sean. I'll wrap up, shall I? <laughs> anyway, that's everything that's open during high season here in Phuket. He's off laughing about sausage sizzling. Anyway, there you go. Uh, like and subscribe and comment below. Thanks, bye.